Hello and welcome back to year two of our FCS Dynasty. This is week one, game number two. 24th ranked North Dakota State Bison are traveling to take on the Air Force Falcons in the number three toughest stadium in the nation. Air Force is a solid squad. They've got some pretty good depth compared to a lot of the FCS schools. Uh, their offense is looking pretty good, a lot of speed. I'm not sure if North Dakota State's defense can contain them very well. They've only got four subscriber players. They've got Dio Langston, Austin Bracey, Zeke Marunde, and four-star freshman Rich Rodriguez at cornerback. Let's see what the guys think as they make their predictions. This is the only game of the week that has audio. skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Bison and the Air Force Falcons. I can tell already that Week looks to have the recipe for what we think will be a very exciting season. And here come the Falcons. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? The away team matches up pretty well in this one, but I'll tell you what. They're going to have a hard time defending the passing game in this quarterback. Look for him to pick apart this secondary and have a big game. I picked my winner this morning. Here we go. I really believe that these guys are going to do it. Well, there it is. You heard it, folks. Now let's take you down to the captains at midfield. So technically, North Dakota State is not the underdog here today. Air Force not ranked. North Dakota State ranked for the first time, I believe. And here is Slaughter on the kick return to start things off. He's in the open field. Tohoka Nanako tracks him down at the 35-yard line. Starting off with some fireworks here today in Colorado. See what the offense can do. Third and inches for the Falcons. They're going to go play action. Deep shot over the middle. And Nichols was wide open for the first down pickup at the 5. Second and goal now from the 8-yard line. Play action. Left side. Davis has it. That was a backwards pass for a touchdown to the halfback. So Air Force takes the early lead, 7-0 over North Dakota State. Now let's take a look at the offense for the Bison. Kelvin Jasper Jr. at quarterback. Zoomer Speed, Tohoka Nanakoke at halfback. Cameron May, our first 90 overall player with a 93 today. He is in at fullback, and there's Zoomer Speed picking up 17 yards on his first carry. At receiver, Ryan Irwindowski, number 13. But we're going to see a lot of running here for the Bison. Not a lot of passing at all. They didn't do it well last year. Uh, Jasper Jr., less than 2,000 yards passing on the season his freshman year. And the offensive line, not very good with Anders Harlow and Jake Harlow allowing a combined 22 sacks last season. As yeah, Stoke and Nanico picks up a nice chunk of yards there. Here's Cameron May, the 93 overall fullback, picking up the first down. Rumbling. He had 630 yards on the ground last season, nine touchdowns. Also, nine catches for 201 yards and two scores. The Bison have to settle for a field goal here. Kick is up and good. Nice 11-play drive. And Pearson dropped way back by Token Nanakoke. Coming in on the outside linebacker blitz. We will see him play linebacker. Here's a fumble from the Bison. And the Falcons recover. So they give it right back to him. Air Force in great field position. The crowd is loving it. They're really getting into it, and this crowd can get really nasty. Number three in the country here is Gorman, the fullback. Nice carry. Picks up nine yards, and that'll end the first quarter. Now in the second. Second down and inches. He's Gorman again, escaping, and he's going to go in untouched. What a run by the fullback. Great vision. Finding his way for the 21-yard touchdown run. My goodness. North Dakota State's defense having only four subscriber players. It looks like it might be a rough season here in year number two. Under first-year head coach Colin Northrup for the Bison as he just gets knocked over by his own quarterback right there. Nice run by Calvin Jasper Jr. Here's Nanako on the option. Gets the first down and tack on five yards. And Nanako was the starting halfback last season, and he just wasn't producing very much. So Zoomer Speed ended up taking that spot from him. And here is Calvin getting a nice carry again for a first down. But Zoomer Speed, last season, listen to this, folks, 67 carries for 928 yards and 12 scores. That is insane numbers. 
And here's a deep shot to the end zone. He's picked off. Terry has it. Breaks the tackle and gets up to the 18-yard line. Jasper Jr. looking for Max Hawthorne, it looked like. The big tight end. And he just could not connect with a 6'4", 245-pound target at the end zone. Not a bad throw. Uh, just overthrew him just by a little bit, maybe a yard. But Hawthorne, he definitely didn't have to leave his feet for that catch attempt. Uh, the Falcons go three and out, and Jasper Jr. is going to pitch it. Zoomer Speed makes a man miss. He made him look silly. And tack on five yards. As the Bison look to make this a one-score game again with 2.39 left in the first half. Falcons coach not liking the call by the refs. Third down and four. Option play. Calvin pitches out. Nanako sprinting. He's got the first down and more all the way inside the 15-yard line. One of the best runs of his career. He only had three touchdowns last year. And here's Cameron May. He's going to punch it in. Looking like a pinball right there. Seven-yard touchdown run. That'll be his 10th rushing touchdown of his career. Pretty good career for the sophomore fullback. Less than a minute to go here in the half. And Slaughter gets it on the option. Great blocking on the right side. Slaughter all the way up to the 41-yard line. Air Force only three first downs. Bison with 10. And the Falcons have the lead. Pearson breaking tackles. 14-yard carry. Oh my goodness, the defense needs a lot of work here for North Dakota State. Nice tackle by Bracey, but a good pitch. And Gorman makes a man miss. Oh my goodness, West tracks him down at the 12-yard line. The fullback up over 80 yards running today. 24-yard field goal attempt. And that kick is up and good. And they will take a 17-10 lead into the half. And this crowd is only going to get louder. Third down and one. Calvin pitches it out late. Zoomer Speed's got it. Oh my goodness, he's in the open field. He's dangerous. And he gets it up to the 45-yard line. A 20-plus yard run. Second down now. Jasper pressured. He's running away and throws it up. Oh my goodness, that was a prayer. And it was answered by Ryan Irwindowski. Just his 24th catch of his career. First on the season. Jasper Jr. sack again. Quarterback getting his first career sack. Coming through on the blitz, that'll make it 4th down and 25 yards to go. The Bison will punt the football away. Option play to Slaughter. Left side, in the open field, still going. Oh my goodness, the speed is insane. You can definitely see a big difference between the defenders and these skill position players of the Air Force Falcons. Nice run again here by Slaughter. Austin Bracey on the tackle. Pearson to throw. Deep shot to the end zone. Man, wide open. Oh my goodness, beating the non-subscriber corner. 27-yard touchdown pass, and Air Force is going to take a two-touchdown lead. Bison needs something going here, and they're going to fumble the football, and it's recovered by Air Force. And that was worst-case scenario here for Colin Northrup and his offense. My goodness. Air Force looking to take a three-score lead. Gorman again finds the opening and gets the first down. Now third and goal from the seven. Pearson to the end zone. Touchdown to Chase. Tight end beats Nelson, the non-subscriber linebacker. And it's going to be 31-10 to here late in the ballgame as we head closer to the fourth quarter. Just a perfect throw. Linebacker just out of place. And a great catch by the tight end for the score. First and 20 after a holding call. And Zuber Speed gets the carry left side. And he's got a couple defenders in front of him. Jukes a man out. Runs a man smooth over. He's past the 50, the 30, the 20. Zoomer speed is gone. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Oh, my goodness. That run puts him over 1,000 career rushing yards. Oh, my. His 13th touchdown on the ground. Air Force is going to come out throwing it after that huge touchdown run. Pearson seven straight completions right now. Basically unstoppable. and they're, He's going to run it left side. He's got the first down. What a run by the quarterback. 27 yards on the ground for him today. But it's 4th and 10. Falcons going for it. Pearson. Deep shot. He overthrows his target way out of bounds. And the Bison get the football back. Can they make a comeback here? Calvin. They'll throw it. Super speed wide open. He's dangerous. Fast midfield. Jukes a man out. 
and inside the 40-yard line of Air Force. Get him the ball in the open field, and magic happens. Here's Speed again, but he's going to fumble the football. Oh, no. Air Force on the recovery. Four turnovers today for North Dakota State, and that has really just hurt their chances in this ball game. There's still plenty of time, though. They're down two touchdowns. It's third down and nine. Falcons need the first down here. Counterplay to Slaughter, and Slaughter just speeds forward for the first down. Great acceleration. Another third down here. Play action. Pearson finds another man open. Walker has it. And Walker is tracked down by Rodriguez, the four-star freshman cornerback. But it's too late. He falls into the end zone. 42-yard touchdown pass. And the Bison look like they're going to lose their first game of the season. But they're not done yet. They're still trying here. Nice catch by Max Hawthorne. His first of the season. And his 25th of his career. Seven seconds left. They're still fighting. They're not giving up. Here's another completion to Hoka Nanticoke with a 19-yard reception. Second down and one with one second left on the clock. Calvin Jasper Jr. to the middle and to Hoka Nanticoke has the touchdown catch. His second of his career. Air Force comes away with a victory here over the 24th ranked North Dakota State Bison at home. Number three toughest stadium and it definitely proved to be tough. Crowd was in it the entire game, and it was just too much for North Dakota State. They had too many mental mistakes, too many turnovers, and that really cost them the game. They had more yards, more yards on the ground, more yards passing. They were sacked twice, though. Great third down conversion percentage, but four turnovers, three fumbles, all of them lost, and an interception. But they won in every category except for points. My goodness. Air Force, they just kept their head in the game. And came away with a victory. Here are the winners of our Discord Pick'em. These are the play, uh, people that selected the Air Force Falcons to win. Matthew Lee, Ashley Jackson, Chris Numa, Jack Brown, four-star commander, uh, Noah Regeer, head coach for Southern Utah, Ballhawk, Quasi Sands, Xavier Wilson, Zach Pryor, Jay Washington, and Eric Tavares, halfback for the Northern Colorado Bears. Congratulations to you guys. You were correct in picking the Falcons. So definitely not how head coach Colin Northrup wanted to start off his head coaching career as they fall to the Air Force Falcons. But there's a lot of positive things to take away from this game. Their offense was moving down the field. Their defense performed quite well, other than a, one or two big drives. Um... But they definitely performed pretty good. The only thing that could help them right now is less turnovers. Four turnovers today. And that was the biggest difference. And that is the reason why they lost. A couple of turnovers were close to their own end zone. So it made for easy drives for the Air Force Falcons to get in there. And they did have a three touchdown lead at one point. Bison tried to fight back into it. But too little too late. John Long, one for one today for field goals. I believe he only missed one all last season. Let's take a look at his stats. Yes, he was 11 of 12 last year, the best kicker that we've had in the dynasty so far. Players of the game, Speed, Nanticoke, and Long. Pearson, Mons, and Gorman for Air Force. They will be ranked next week. They're 27th right now. They just beat a ranked opponent. They will move up. Our next game, which will be out later, Northern Colorado, the Bears traveling to take on in-state rival, the 20th ranked Colorado State Rams. I'll see you guys at that one soon. Take it easy.